What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. So, I want to talk about this little beauty right here. This is the Lee Nielsen Violin Maker's Plan. Why do I want to talk about this little guy? Well, I think if you're a general contractor or a hobbyist, and you'd like to have a hand plane, and you don't have sharpening gear, you don't know how to sharpen, you know, but you'd like a little hand plane just for dialing things in. Maybe you're at a customer's house and they, oh, can you shave that little bit of the door down for me? Sure. All done. No extension cords, no dust, no noise, no nothing. Just whoop. Thank you. So the reason I would go with this violin maker's plane, A, it's bronze. It's not ductile iron. So this, you can keep this in your van. It doesn't matter, hot, cold, humid, not, whatever. It doesn't matter. You can keep this in your damp basement. It's not gonna turn into a ball of rust. The only thing that will rust is the blade. That's the only thing you have to worry about. You don't have to worry about the whole body of the plane. You throw some oil on the blade, and the blade's going to be sharpened from time to time anyway, so they'll have a chance to touch it up. You don't have to worry about the body of the plane, which is, uh, which is nice. And two, if you get a Lee Nielsen or a Veritas versus a Wood River, these come sharp and ready to use out of the box, so you don't need sharpening gear. You can buy it, and this thing was like 98 bucks. You can buy it, take it out of the box, and use it until it gets dull, and then send the blade in, find some place that will sharpen a blade for you. Which I can sharpen blades, so you can send them my way too if you like. But I'm sure there's places near you that will sharpen blades for you. But you only have to sharpen them once in a while, and these blades hold an edge for quite a while, and so does uh, Veritas if you go with PMV11. Do not get 01. I'm telling you right now. 01 is terrible. It's so hard to sharpen, and it just doesn't get as sharp as PMV11 or A2. And. Lee Nielsen's A2 is not regular A2. It's above and beyond A2. They have extra process steps to make it that much harder and hold an edge longer. I really like Lee Nielsen's stuff. They make excellent, excellent hand planes. And, and Veritas does too. They make good hand planes. They do. But sometimes they try to reinvent the wheel. You know what I mean? And sometimes that's good. Sometimes it's best to just leave things the hell alone. And I'll give you an example of both. So Veritas, obviously it's not this one, but they have a full-size router plane. And they designed it so that you could take the blade off the shank here. Because this is a nightmare to sharpen because you can't use any sharpening jigs because the rod's in the way. You have to kind of do it by hand. But they designed the new one. You could take a screw out, pull the blade off, attach it to another jig so it holds it flat. Then you can put that jig in your sharpening jig and sharpen it. So reinventing the wheel, good in that aspect. Yes, agreed. But when it came to the pocket plane, and the reason I go with these, I, these little pocket planes are awesome. Especially for people starting out, I don't think you should go with a block plane. That's where most people start and they suck. They're, the blades are just wide enough that they're really hard to push and the body is just big enough that it's hard to grab onto, they're uncomfortable to hold and they just, they're not nice to use. I don't like them. I have one and I never use it, ever. 
I take this one of these out first. But see, this, they tried to, I, I, I don't know, like, what was wrong with the, uh, the bar jammed through? Primitive, I know, it, but I can crank this cap down. Like, as soon as I have my setting, crank it and nothing will happen. So this is an aluminum cap, I believe, and you have a brass screw down there. As soon as you over tighten this, one time, as soon as you over tighten it, it stretches that hole out. And now, it doesn't matter how much I tighten it, the cap will not stay on. So this thing is completely useless. And it's a steel body plane. So if you leave this in your work truck, and you don't touch it, and you forget about it, it'll turn into a ball of rust. So if you're, if you're uh, looking for a hand plane, just for whatever, little things, small things, you just want, you're interested in hand planes, you'd like to be able to like dial your work in once in a while when you do, do carpentry, I would start with this. Honest to God, right here. This thing is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And it cuts really nice. I didn't do it, I didn't do anything to this. I took it out of the box. I started using it. Let's go make some shavings with it, you'll see. Alright, here's some walnut. Right out of the box. Here's some hard maple. So obviously that was a, you know, a bit of an extreme test because that was walnut and hard maple. More than likely, if you're a general contractor or a hobbyist, you're not going to run into those kind of things. You know, it's going to be pine or poplar, which <laughs> this thing will do with ease. And obviously, I can get this a lot sharper, but I just wanted to show you, like, out of the box. I just opened the box and started using it. And if you get a hand plane, get some paraffin wax for the bottom. Put a little on, plane for a minute. Put a little more on, plane for a minute. Put a little more on, plane for a minute. It just makes your life so much easier. But anyways, guys, that's it for this one. Make sure you subscribe. Give the video a thumbs up. Grab a dirty t-shirt. Get after it. See you in the next one.